Hi there, welcome to number one geek. It is I, Saz, and we are back with some more Project Zomboid. Yes, I'm a bit hungry, aren't I? Let's uh, see if there's anything in our back. Oh, look at that! I have a large Alice pack. So, let's explain a few things, shall we? Number one, uh, I decided that after uh, last couple of weeks being pretty much me just fighting my way through things, I thought I'd take the time to start killing a few things before doing some exploration, which would allow me to uh, do a bit more of the exploring around this this uh, rather interesting uh, situation I find myself in. So I, I thought I'd uh, stop the thing, have a go. And so you'll see there's a few, <laughs> there'll be a few bodies. I, I have kind of been a little bit on the busy side. I don't know if I, I think I'm actually out of ammunition, which is, so I have to go back to the car to, uh, have I got, oh no, I've got seven left, that's right, okay, so I do have some left in the, in the charge, but, uh, yeah, I have been running around left, right and centre, shooting stuff, and it all seemed to culminate here because, uh, an alarm went off in this building, believe it or not. So everything and his dog came flying towards me, and we've got this mess here. Yeah. Yes. So I've got a lot of uh, bodies to sort through. Is that an MRE? Yep. So I'll replace the MRE there. So yeah, I did manage to pick myself up a large Alice pack from uh, some of the areas around here. But we'll worry about that later because I don't want to end up being getting sick. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up going up this direction. And seeing what is here. I think I've already got this guy here. That's fine. But I didn't actually check what was in the in the room's books, so it's just a guard, yeah, guard tower sort of thing. Can't even remember where I've been anymore. All right, so we're we're at the Force Awakens bunkers and a large house here. has a load of stuff in here. Let's have a look. Okay, well this looks like uh, pretty much Hydrocraft Mecha here. With all these bits of bits and pieces here. Adult magazines. Tupperware ornaments. Toolboxes. Solar panels. Watering can. Empty gas can, which could be useful for later. Another solar panel. So if push comes to shove, I could just make a uh, pickaxe there. Good. Another solar panel. I need to find one more solar panel, which generally tends to be apparently a rare find, from what I understand. Oh, huzzah! There's a radio going on here, that's probably what he was attracted to. It's a bit dark for me to find the door, so we'll worry about that a bit later. But this is a very interesting place. Hazmat suit, lava lamp, steak knife, watering can. Pack 
pallet of red bricks. So, a witch's hat. <laughs> wow. There's a lot of... Oh, samurai helmet. Okay, my brain is kind of telling me that this area here might be the place that we need to seriously consider being the home base, the, the, the hydrocraft mecha, so to speak. The only thing that I'm, I'm worried about at the moment is, yeah, this is just weapons and stuff, that's fine. holiday supplies apparently computer okay see I can sledgehammer maybe open some of these other areas as well because it looks like this one over here is the only one that's actually open and there is a generator can't get that open, but I suspect that there's stuff in there. Bag of red clay, box of... There's a lot of stuff around here. There's a hell of a lot of stuff that we could probably use as items. There's a gas can. Oh, awesome. Full gas can. An MRE. Awesome. Another MRE. Hazmat suit. Copper wire. Of course, it's all very well. There's a canteen there, but uh, as we know, no, I've already managed to grab a double canteen for super storage of stuff. Aluminium sheets, looper, another witch's hat, vacuum cleaner, binoculars, aluminium sheet, Pyrex, test tube, thick rope, la di da di da. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, we have it, we have it, and I'm reading it. And we are now cooking with gas, and there's a jack there as well. Right, I need to determine now how viable this place is as... I'll just see... Okay. So this is very interesting. Now, my only issue at the moment, I think, is the fact that you do need a lot of trees for Hydrocraft. And I'm not seeing a lot of trees, if I'm honest. I am tired, though. There's some trees growing over there. I'm going to need some way I'm going to go for sprinting because I'm going to do doing a lot of that. There's some trees over here so there is there are trees in the background but not as much as I'm probably going to need. I need I'm going to need access to foraging and and stuff like that. Let me bring the map back up so I know where I'm going. There are a couple of vehicles up here as well. There's one here in fact. And there's a couple up in this area here as well. But I'm getting to the point now where I'm going to rest in that little rest station at the top there. And bring now do I have right I'm gonna have to break that door down by the looks of it that shouldn't be too much of a hassle right so let's rest up and give me time to think did I just hear something move
Right, I'm gonna have to head back for some more stuff. Let me just move to the knife. Whilst I'm waiting. And close the door. I think that should do us. Alright, I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna pause and have a quick think about what I'm gonna do and how I'm going to achieve it. Okay, well the first job is generally closing these gates. <laughs> uh, and I think the other thing is, is this gate here is probably going to have to go because I can't open it up yet. I don't have anything with a key unless any of these zombies here happen to have... Oh. Hello. Goodbye. If any of these zombies happen to have the key... Wait a second, is that... Ah, there's a door there. Okay, so we're not really going to get in here any other way. So, let's see. Do I have... No, I don't. I've basically been using this ambulance now as my big super sack. So, as you can see, I've got pretty much everything in his dog in here. Uh, let me... Can I move my... Uh, rifle over there with my Benelli into the back there? Yes, I can. Uh, let's pick up the sledgehammer. Let's put that in uh, both hands. Let's destroy that door. Sledgehammer back. Let's grab the Benelli. Some Let's make sure we've got some shells. Some sauce. <clears throat> the nice thing is, is that this will probably expose a loss of the So I've got a car to work on there. I know there's a couple of cars up there that I can work on, so that's not an issue. Um, yeah, let's bring... Now I've got a key for that. That's cool. That's cool. actually like a really cool area because I've got my own like I think this also if I'm right is a workshop so it's where I could do the repairs for cars and vehicles and stuff like that so that's interesting 
Now, is there a... No, nope, but I think we might make one. So what I'll do is I'll go back here. Uh, down here. And... Get both these in these hands. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of reverse uh, motion here. Effectively. Okay. So then I can put a doorway between the two of them. And then we've got this area here, which I can use this larger building here as my kind of like major base. Which now I can, now it's open. Uh, let me just bring it up. There we go. That's a double door thing. This looks like a command center of some sort. Quite cool. Turn you off so we don't attract any zombies. What I can do here is literally turn this into this bedroom into or this thing into a bedroom, which will allow me to take apart a few things. You can perhaps destroy the stairs, pop in. We could do something across the roof there as well, couldn't we? Like a defensive spot. This is really cool. I must admit, I, I'm actually quite enamoured with this uh, this spot. This is, I mean, all the trees are growing here as well. Uh, we've got a generator here. Uh, I need to break my way into here. But what I am going to do first is I'm going to pick up this uh, generator. She's probably going to seriously overload me right now. Now I do have another generator at the village. So I may have to go back there and do some collections and stuff. So... Uh, we'll just have to see. There's going to be a lot of organisations. But I think we're actually going to be able to start our hydrocrafting. Let me drop... Uh, that here now. Don't know if I can connect it just as for the moment, but can I connect it? I did pick up a gas can, I'm sure of it. So what have I done with it? Okay, so the AR-15 is there at the moment, that's fine. Did I leave it in a bag somewhere? Up the lug wrench, gun maintenance kit. Oh, wait a second, what's in the camping pack? Nothing's in the camping pack, okay. Oh, I need to eat. Let's have the crackers and the snack bread. Looks like I may have hurt myself as well. Why am I overweight? 27. Right, let's move the sledgehammer into my backpack and see if that helps. That helps a little bit. Take the hammer away. Put that MRE back there. Okay, matches. Ooh. Drop 
plastic packaging. Just give it a rainbow chocolate. Okay, so I'm only slightly overweight now. Now, was I right in thinking? Oh, wait a second. Maybe it's because I don't have the Benelli equipped. Yeah, that's dropped it down. So what I need to do now is have a look. I'm pretty sure I saw one in here. There's another car jack, which I can move over. So I've, I've got a lot of reorganization to do, and I think, and there's a the gas can, right, okay. That's fine. Gas can. Cool. So I have a military's uh, worth of uh, gasoline here. Can I get out? Maybe not. Don't have gasoline in my thing. Let's be the other side then. Obviously, these are things that one learns. I know why. I'm an idiot. <coughs> Refuel from gas pump. There we go. So it was that side. I'm just being a foo. But the nice thing is, it looks like we have all these tanks worth of fuel. So this is a pretty damn good area to protect yourself from stuff. Right. Let's turn you off. Let's have a look, see how much fuel we got now. Right, top loaded. Okay. Right, so I'm going to do some organisation. I'm going to uh, break into that room, see what's in there, and see if we can sort this, uh, organise this this area out, 
and once we get to the point where I feel we're able to uh, to show you what's going on, uh, we'll do that. Right, update. I've just taken out the doors. Uh, there's loads of different stuff in here. And just having a quick look through here. Ooh. Another generator there. And there's a dolly there which will be very useful for moving stuff from the vehicles over to where the hydrocrafting area is going to be. Which is obviously this area here. Another dolly, good. Vacuum cleaner which I can use for taking things apart. Some toys. Unsurprisingly, at a military base, this is lots and lots of ammunition. Combat boots, another Benelli by the looks of it. Some grenade launchers. Okay, so now that we have a secondary generator, do you know what I might do? I might take the generator up to the top here, I don't know if you can see this once I've moved a bit further away, but maybe crawl it through the window and put it outside here. See if I can do that. But uh, yeah, so that's the, that's the next mission. Uh, take the, this generator out, attach it to this building here to make sure that I've got some power in there. See where we go from there. I'm kind of seeing last stand here. <laughs> Effectively, dropping through the, taking out these windows sort of thing. Maybe with an escape route of some sort, maybe perhaps over the back there. There's lots to think about, and I think it's quite exciting, actually. So, I mean, if anyone's got any ideas or discussions about what, what we can do here, uh, I'm unhappy, but that's now connected up. So, I'll be able to put some um, fuel into there. At some point, I'm going to take out all these bits and pieces, uh, as and when I can. Uh, but now, I just need to empty the van and see about getting all the stuff back that I need to get back. And also clearing out the rest of this base because I'm sure that there are some more bits and pieces around here that I haven't quite got to yet. So uh, that's the other main concern. So uh, I will be back and once I've managed to sort myself out, get me with a uh, an idea of what's going on. Oh, I'm bored. Uh, I shouldn't be bored because this is very exciting. Very exciting. Uh, and then also look to start uh, building my actual skills up because I haven't really touched that at the moment because I've been desperately trying to find some place to call my own. And I think I may have found it, folks, which is awesome. Okay, so that wasn't good. <laughs> that wasn't good at all. I have just literally just walked into a big band of zombies, got scratched on my way out. So, uh... We could be in a little bit of trouble here. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of there. I don't know how I can still manage to remain bored. Get out of sight. I'm going to put my Benelli. in the back there how I got away with that I do not know I literally walked straight into a whole mass of them and got stuck somehow I managed to wangle my way out but perhaps once again because of the base maybe the overconfidence kicked in there and they're coming. I can hear them coming. It might be time for me to make a very quick withdrawal. And head back. 
to base. Well, that's what happens when you get overconfident, guys. And also, some of, some of the mistakes I make, I sometimes tell other people, you know, we'll always run away from alarms, and then I don't run from alarms and get killed straight afterwards. You know, it's, it's like, you, you, try to, you try to teach people these lessons, and you never learn from them yourself. And that's just, like, overconfidence, stupidity, you name it. That's what I've done. So right, I'm going to have to s treat this boredom, treat this uh, body status, and then this time, maybe do something about uh, looking after myself, as in making sure that I do have the ammunition. Let's read the Holy Bible. Didn't even touch the boredom. Maybe it's time for an adult magazine. Get the big guns out. But I need to rest up. I need to arm up. There's a book there, actually. Where are you? Let's read that. See how that's done. Okay, that's sorted that part out. We just need to rest and recuperate. And I need to get more boxes of ammunition out of my van and start showing these zombies I mean business. Right. Hopefully we we won't have got infected from it. I don't think we have, to be honest. It was just a quick scratch. Got away with it this time around. So... Let's be a little bit more careful, shall we, Saz? Anyway, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it there. Yeah, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a lot of the work offline. So getting all the stats, the skills up, cleaning out all the areas, and uh, just grabbing stuff from from places, just so that we can actually start doing some hydrocrafting, which is, which is the general thing of this series. Uh, yet I seem to, every now and again, drop myself into so much trouble that I'm not able to do it. So uh, we're going to try and make a firm, firm attempt at doing some proper hydrocrafting. So I'm going to get all the survivalist stuff done off camera and then we can then work hard on the hydrocrafting. So as I always say, press the like button. If you like what you like, press the like button. If you dislike what you dislike, press the dislike button. But please pop something down in the comment section to let me know how I can improve my content for you because basically guys I want to do some good stuff and I want people to be like yeah this is you know on the edge of their seats and stuff like that and if if, if I'm doing something wrong I'd like to know about it also if you've got some general comments general tips especially with this new thing if someone's got ideas of what I can do with this new this new base station that uh, I seem to be have, have been gifted here uh, please let me know uh, also if you really like what you see Press that subscribe button. I always like a few subscribers. And uh, if you really like it, press the uh, bell icon as well to follow so that you will get notifications every time I put a new episode out. And I've got quite a few things to put out. So it's, it's hopefully going to be once a day. Uh, that's, that's what my main effort is. And um, we'll see from there. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.